Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I have new information here from Giga Berlin. We will look into details what this means for you. So first of all, I can share with you um, that the production is at 1,800 to 1,900 cars per week, which is almost twice as much as we have seen before the upgrade. And by 1st September, we are able to reach 2,000 cars per week week which is a goal that we have been working on for a long time but if we are looking at the 5,000 cars by the end of the year that is something that we could achieve based on the ramp that we are currently seeing so that is the good news but furthermore there's more good news so um, we have information on that the color so the paint shop um, is actually being worked on and that all colors are being tested and it is currently already possible to do all the colors um, if you want to um, do them. But what is Tesla doing? They are currently sending all the tests that they are doing with all the other colors to the United States. What I believe is that they just gonna check the quality and once they get it confirmed, then Tesla is gonna start producing all colors at the same time, like in Austin. So it might have taken a bit longer than in Austin, but I do believe that we could see by latest a beginning of Q4, all colors being produced. Again, this is just my personal opinion based on the information I have received, because everything is working in the paint shop with out any issues so it is just confirming the quality of the color nothing more no more news about um, the white seats um, and regarding the percentage between model y performance and model y long range it is 50 50 but i might get some more news um, tomorrow so i will share that with you and if you're new to my channel and you like those perspective here from Germany, do consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. And um, let's look forward to what's going to happen here over the next few weeks in Giga Berlin. Um, it's good news that finally we have an update for the colors. That was a big, big topic over the past weeks. Now it's only about are people from the UK receiving cars soon? or is the white seats finally coming? Then we're looking into the VIN numbers and I received from a viewer some VIN numbers and it is actually the case that based on the VIN numbers, we can actually confirm that test vehicles are moving to Norway, for example, and other countries. Um, based on the low numbers we see here, it is clearly test vehicles. And there are some VIN numbers as well with 15, 13, so 1,600, 1,500, um, 1,200, 1,290. These are just cars from the beginning of the production I know people that got one week after start of deliveries, a number of 1,800. So everything that is below um, suggests to be um, test vehicles. We have seen that happening, um, that they moved them away. So be cautious if you get such a car, check the quality and share in any cases if there's nothing, um, something wrong um, with Tesla immediately. Hux and Petersburg is gonna be on the 28th in Seebrugge. And Koper, that is the next destination in 10 hours, accordingly, the ICC Antwerp is going to arrive in Koper. So lots of cars for Slovenia, Austria, Switzerland, um, Germany as well, um, maybe even Hungary and other countries. So very exciting. Um, Globis Companion for the UK market is the next shipment going directly to Southampton. And um, according to Ray for Tesla, um, based on numbers and as well subsidies and support by the government in China, if you take that away, um, Tesla has been the only profitable new energy vehicle producer in China last year, even if you take the subsidies away. If you take the subsidies away for BYD, they are not profitable in China. Um, we are just talking about China here. Um, so we see that. Um, those companies are really supported by the government because the government wants China to be a leader in the auto sector. But if it comes to subsidies, yes, they are profitable. But if you take them away, then there is no profit. So um, again, let me know your view on that. Um, it is a very competitive price that those car makers have and they are trying to gain some market share. But what is the price for it? They are not making real money yet. 
um, just based on the information we received as well in China. Um, we also know that the new battery for the Model 3 and the Model Y, this is actually not a true story. So for the Chinese market, that is not the case. Again, guys, the new BYD um, batteries that have arrived in Grünheide, this seems to be true. Um, so I hope to um, give you more news about that very soon. So um, again, this is just a clarification that the update regarding the Model 3 battery is not true based on Tesla. Um, so we have to wait for more information and more indication that maybe um, an, a new battery is coming for Model 3 next year. I'm excited to see improvements are always welcome to come. So then looking into the transitioning into the first radar vehicles to Tesla Vision, this is now about to happen. And there are kind of like two parties there. Some people saying Tesla Vision is never going to happen. Um, some saying first radar is actually way better. Um, it should be staying. So the, there are like two sections of opinion here. Um, please share what do you think about that. I think Tesla should be trying Tesla Vision, uh, should be trying to do that. Um, and I think that Tesla is capable, if someone is capable of doing it, Tesla is definitely capable of using Tesla Vision and make it possible um, to use Tesla Vision um, in all Tesla cars. So um, that is good news as well. And yes, you can frame that on the wall, $891. That was the final Tesla stock price before the Tesla stock split. Now looking at $300 based on the numbers from last night. Of course, market is moving, so it could be changing any time. So now let's see how long we uh, take to get back onto the, to the number that we see here. Let me know what you think, how fast this is actually going to happen. Um, but Tesla has so much momentum, so much gaining um, potential when it comes to market share, when it comes to deliveries. So it will be excited to see. Uh, when it comes to the supply chain, we can actually see based on this Twitter user that it seems like Tesla is actually having a negotiations with suppliers. But based on Taiwan Electronic Trimes, it seems like um, as well, Tesla is not immune to um, um, receive higher prices um, in the supply chain. So there's always a chance that Tesla might be increasing prices. So I guess, again, if you're in the thinking period to buy a Tesla right now is a pretty good time because um, who knows what's going to happen with the prices. So thank you very much for being here today. I really appreciate your time and um, hope to see you back here on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And uh, looking forward to see you back here. Thank you very much. Take care.